Now in this triangle, the difference is that we are not given a complete side length of the triangle. We are missing the measurement of the base of your triangle. And in this particular example, we will need an extra step and that is of course, we need to find the missing side of the triangle. And to do that, in geometry, we know that we can use the Pythagorean theorem in finding the missing side of a right triangle. And that's what we're going to do. The Pythagorean theorem, if you can remember, is hypotenuse squared is equal to legs squared plus leg squared. So the given side on this problem is your hypotenuse and one of the legs, which is 1. So by substituting the formula, we have 2 squared equals 1 squared plus x squared. And this is x because it's missing and we need to find it. And by solving for x, you subtract 1 on both sides. So you'll have 3 equals x squared. And to get rid of the exponent, you take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 3. And now we know that the missing side of the triangle is just square root of 3. So this is now our complete set of sides in a right triangle. So now we can use the sixth trig ratio formula, which is Sokotoa and Cho Shakao, in finding the sixth trig ratio of this right triangle. So for sine 30 degrees, it's opposite over hypotenuse, so it's equal to 1 half, 1 over 2. And for cosine 30 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, we have square root of 3 over 2. And for tangent 30 degrees, we have 1 over square root of 3. And as we know in trigonometry, we need to rationalize. And if we rationalize 1 over square root of 3, it is simply square root of 3 over 3. And these are the three trig ratio. And finding its inverses, just get its reciprocal to find cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So for cosecant 30 degrees, reciprocal of 1 half is 2. And for secant 30 degrees, reciprocal of square root of 3 over 2 is 2 over square root of 3. And then you will rationalize it. So you have 2 square root of 3 over 3. And for tangent, we have 1 over square root of 3. And the reciprocal of 1 over square root of 3 is simply square root of 3. And this these are the uh, six trig ratio of a right triangle when the problem is um, solving for the missing side. Now we need to remember that in trigonometry, if we're going to base it off of the x, y plane, we're not going to use the values x and y anymore because we know that cosine is x and sine is y in trigonometry. And these are the set of formulas that we will use in uh, some problems. So it's similar to Sokotoa, but now we are referring it as the x, y axis in our um, x, y plane. So we know that sine is equal to y and cosine is equal to x. And tangent is simply y over x. Now it's inverses, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Can, cotangent, we just need to get its reciprocal. So for cosecant, it's 1 over y. Secant is 1 over x. And cotangent is x over y. And we're going to use that in our next problem. Now in this example, we need to find the sixth trig function of the given theta, which is pi over 3. Now in trigonometry, you will see this Greek letter uh, most often. So in algebra, we uh, usually use x and y as our variable. And in trigonometry, we usually um, use the Greek letter theta as a given angle. Of course, we can use all the other letters, but in trigonometry, you will see this theta as a variable that we use for a given angle. So the given angle is pi over 3, and if we convert pi over 3 into degrees, pi over 3 is 60 degrees, which is a special right triangle, or one of the angles in the special right triangle. And in our unit circle, we know that 60 degrees has a coordinate of 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. So if we're going to find the 6 trig function or 6 trig ratio of uh, angle 60 degrees, we already have our 2 trig ratio, which is the value of cosine and the value of sine. So sine pi over 3, uh, pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2, and cosine pi over 3 is equal to 1 half by using the unit circle. Now to find the other four trig ratio, 
all we have to do is to use the formula that you've seen on the previous slide. So tangent pi over 3 is simply y over x. So it's sine over cosine. The value of sine is pi over 3 divided by the value of cosine, which is 1 half. By simplifying the complex fraction, this becomes square root of 3. So tangent pi over 3 is equal to the square root of 3. And in finding its inverses, for cosecant pi over 3, the reciprocal of square root of 3 over 2 is 2 over square root of 3, and we know that we need to rationalize our fraction in trigonometry. So our final answer for co cosecant pi over 3, 3 is 2 square root of 3 over 3. And for secant pi over 3, reciprocal of 1 half is 2, so that's the value of our secant pi over 3. And for cotangent pi over 3, the reciprocal of square root of 3 is 1 over square root of 3. And you need to rationalize it. So your final answer is simply square root of 3 over 3.